everyone, welcome to my ab burning pyramid workout. We're going to work all portions of the abs today, upper, lower, and obliques. Alright, so we're going to do a pyramid format, which I love because it keeps things interesting, uh, but still very challenging. So we're going to start with 10 reps, 20, 30, and so on, until we get to the top of the pyramid, and then we'll go back down. Alright, so very challenging, but very interesting format, and I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to get onto the mat. All you need today, by the way, is just a mat or something a little bit cushioned and one dumbbell. All right, I've got a 10-pound dumbbell right here. So we're going to start with sit-ups with the dumbbell. They add a little extra resistance, but they also kind of help propel you up. So it's kind of a 50-50 on that, <laughs> good and bad. So we're going to hold the dumbbell by the ends. We're doing 10 reps. So this is really hitting the upper and center portion of the abs. You're going to have to help me count today because whew, trainers are notorious for adding extra reps. Two more. Beautiful. Put that dumbbell down. We're going to go into bicycle crunches, 20 of them. I have to admit that I hate these. <laughs> They're one of my least favorites because they really work. <laughs> they burn me. So um, this is the classic bicycle crunch. You're bringing your elbow over to your opposite knee, straightening the leg on the other side. So try not to crank your neck. You want to think about bringing the, elbow, or the shoulder kind of more towards the knee um, and set up so much the elbow that you're cranking the neck. All right, so just be careful of that. And don't rush it too much. Really feel that oblique working. This is actually working all portions of the ab. All right, so let's go. So we're going to start doing 20. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Roll up. Oh, actually, we're going to stay on our back. Sorry. I have my little plan here. So what I'm going to have you do is move your braid out of the way, first of all. Just make a little triangle and just stick that right under your booty just to give you a little support. We're going to do flutter kicks. We're going to do 30 of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to extend the legs. The higher up you are, the less you will feel it. Okay, so if you're a beginner, stay up a little higher. If you're more advanced, I want you to be down further. The closer you are to the ground, the more you're going to really burn those lower abs. Okay, so we're doing a total of 30 flutter kicks. All right, and go. You can also lift the head if that feels a little better for you. That always feels better for me. <clears throat> 20 more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you're gonna lift the head, just make sure your chin stays off the chest. You wanna be able to fit like a tennis ball under there or a fist. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind whenever you're doing any ab exercise. All right. Now we roll up, and we're going to do Russian twists. We're going to pick up our dumbbell again. You guessed it, we're doing 40 of them. Hold the dumbbell by the ends. Anchor your feet into the floor. And you're going to go side to side. Pretend you're putting that dumbbell in your back pocket, okay? If you're so inclined, if you're more advanced, I'm going to have you take the feet up. Halfway there. Five more. 
excellent. If you hear dogs barking, I apologize. They were down here and they were acting up, so I put them upstairs and they are not happy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let them out as soon as I'm done here. All right, so now we're going to do a 50 second plank, all right? I'm not that mean. So we're going to go um, straight arm plank this time. You can also do a plank from the elbows if you have any wrist problems. 50 seconds, we're just holding it, basic plank. You want to make sure your hands are right under the shoulders. Okay. No bananas, no hammocks, right in the center. Make sure you're pulling that belly button up to the spine. And if you are shaking, that is a good thing, all right? Just breathe, go to your happy place here. Planks are awesome because they work the entire core. They work the front and the back of the core. It's important to remember that your back is also part of your core muscles, okay? So you need to strengthen that as well. Less than 10 seconds. I've been working on it a lot today, <laughs> so you'll probably see me shaking here. All right, beautiful. That was the top of our pyramid. Now we're going to go back down and we will be done. So we're going back to those Russian twists. Grab your dumbbell. Pop over onto your booty here. Let's start with the feet anchored and then we'll lift the feet as we go. Ready? Stick that in your back pocket. Really twist. Follow the dumbbell with your gaze. More advanced, lift those feet. Twenty more. Ten more. Flutter kicks. All right, we're sliding down that pyramid. Hands under the booty, just to give that lower back a little support. If that doesn't feel good on your anatomy, just take those hands out and put them by your sides. Okay, I find this just really helps support my lower back a little bit. All right, thirty. Lift the head. Is 20. Once again, don't crank that neck. Make sure you have space under the chin. You can do the fist test. 20 reps. One last exercise and we're done. Sit ups with the dumbbell. Ready? And go. Make sure you're not using momentum. Make sure you're using the abs to lift you here. Five more. one and you are done thank you for joining me I hope your abs feel the burn but if they don't you can always run through this pyramid again have a great day